hope you're all staying healthy and safe. Thank you all so very much for supporting my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a thumbs up as well. In this video, I'll be discussing about how to create dependent drop-down list in Excel. I have listed cities in Australia in column B and in column C I have listed cities in India. The first step would be to create the list of both these cities. In order to do so, we can either use this name box in the left top corner of Excel workbook or we can go to formulas and utilize this define name function as well so let's start by creating the list by utilizing name box first I have selected B3 to B6 now I will type in Australia in the name box now the second way to create the list is by going to define name and you can notice here the list for Australia is already created which is from B3 to B6 now we'll create a new name or new list by typing in India and then in the range of cells we'll select these cities over here and then I'll hit OK now if you go back over here you can see the we have two lists already created the second step is to create uh, the dependent drop-down list for that uh, what I'll do is I'll type in country first and then I'll type in city and then I'll go ahead and select these cells over here and now we'll go to we'll click on data and then data validation for allow part we'll do list and then the source here would be these two uh, countries over here Australia and India so I will hit OK now the list we have we can select um, from the drop down has Australia and India both let's go ahead and select Australia and then on city part which will be dependent on the first selection I'll go ahead and select the cells again we'll go to data validation again for allow part it will be list again now on this part the source would be we'll type in equals and then we'll need to type in indirect the source would be E3 over here and we'll need to remove the dollar sign so that the reference will be dynamic instead of static and I'll hit OK now since E3 has Australia the list we will have is Canberra, Melbourne, Perth and Sydney so let me go ahead and select Canberra and then if we select India we have selection of Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad and Mumbai so this way we can fill up our table let me go ahead and select another city for both countries this is how you can create a dependent drop-down list. Hope this video helps you. If this video helps you, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel as well. Thank you all. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.